Hello? Hey, am I talking to George? Hey, hey, how are you? This is Bob from the Paper Thin Pack Company. Listen, we have an excellent EDC backpack that we want you to check out. Okay. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's made out of all recycled materials and it's very affordable. You know, because we know that's important to our customer base to make it very affordable. Uh... Yeah, and it's very lightweight, all recycled materials and only the best hardware is on our stuff. Listen, can I send one over to you so you can take it and t check it out? Uh, May you put it on your channel? Yeah, you can You can send it over. I can take a look at it and, you know, maybe. Hell no! Come on! Go Ruck GR1, the slick edition. This is a this is like a cooperation between Hugberry and Go Ruck. A couple of months ago, when it was available, I picked one up. They come, you know, back on the website, you know, back and forth. Every couple of months, it seems like they put out a couple more packs, and then they, you know, sold out for a second. But I just happened to catch it when it was available. This pack right here is the 26 liter version. You know, when I make the choice between the 26 and the 21 liter, I, you know, I'm a larger guy, six foot, 265, so I, I need a larger pack to fit my frame. Plus, I wanted the ability to do like everyday carry and one bag travel. So this has that ability. So I can pack myself out maybe for three, four days of travel in this one pack. So it's pretty damn awesome. Let's do some size comparisons. Just, you know, let's just throw up some packs that I think are very comparable to this one right here. All right, let's 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 do one right here. This is uh, the Ibex 26 by VanQuest. Here it is, this is 26 liters, this is 26 liters. You can see the Ibex is a little bit taller, got a little bit slender of a profile. Plus this pack I think has some more organization in it than this one. This one is a pretty simple pack. We're gonna go through it. Let me let me pull up another you know, pack for size comparison. This is the Mystery Ranch three day assault pack. I actually just did a review on this pack right here. This is a 30 liter pack, 26, 30 right here, 29.5 to be exact. But I think that these are all comparable packs. Some of the best packs for everyday carry out there on the market right now, according to George. That's, that's how I'm gonna play that, all right? So that's the this is an excellent pack as well. A little bit more organization in this pack as well. We're gonna go through the slick edition of the GR1, but let me, let me, just for laughs and jokes, let me pull up the paper thin pack right here. Nah, nah, we not doing that. All right, we get that out of here. All right, so let's do the specs on this pack right here. This pack weighs 3.2 pounds. And I think that that's really a good weight for it. You lose some of the things that are on the original GR1. And I've done a review on that and I'll link it up in the corner of the screen a couple of months ago. But I actually like this. I think this is a great addition. Great for the urban environment. You lose all of that tactical, you know, I did two tours in Cancun. You lose that feel you know, that feel of the pack, this just becomes like very utilitarian. I really, really like using this pack. And it's it's a little bit different from the regular GR1, which is still available on GoWork's website. You can pick it up. So a lot of the things I'm gonna say about this pack, you can definitely still apply it to that GR1 that's available. So the dimensions on this pack is 20 inches tall, it's 12 inches wide, and it can expand out to 6.75 inches. So a lot of space. And the thing that I love and I've been on a kick about thousand D Cordura guys. This thing is super solid and tough. It's probably one of the toughest packs out there and, and on the market period. Thousand D is gonna last you. I hesitate to say forever, 
but go ruck says they'll last forever they have the scars warranty so if you ever have a problem with this you can send it in, in, into them they'll definitely take care of you we're gonna walk through let's go to the main section on this pack first all right so we're meeting right here by some ykk zips they're silent zippers so that means they're quiet when you open them up you know they're not gonna you know you take this pack to the library you're not gonna bother anybody love the zipper pulls on this pack just very simple clamshell opening guys clamshell opening so we'll lay the pack down right kind of just rip it open like that and you can see i love being able to access my stuff like this when i'm you know packing for the day or packing for a weekend trip laying a bag open and just being able to get to whatever you need so easy so easy so let me show you what i got all in here we'll pull all this stuff out and then we'll talk about the construction of the pack all right so right here we got the sony xm3s great noise canceling headphones the sony xm4s are out still haven't gotten them because i'm on a budget <laughs> you know this is the green room 136 camera cube i use this to pack out my camera when i'm you know shooting i take it to the park or whatever um camelback shoot Love this thing. Definitely watertight. You'll notice on this pack, we can talk about it now, there is no water bottle pocket on the side. Eh, all the all the GORUCKS don't have water bottle pockets. So you're going to have to put it in. I know that's a deal killer for some folks. They're like, I want my water bottle on the outside. I need quick ass to access to it. I'm thirsty. So if you're a real thirsty person, you're going to have to unzip this thing. And I also picked up the feel pocket right here. This is the GORUCK gr1 feel pocket pretty slick and i got my one of my favorite quentin tarantino characters on there i'm gonna say he's a super a super character major marcus warren right there he's starting to see pictures ain't you let's open this up i kind of changed this into my you know like my tech pouch and it has that capability it's massive amount of pockets in here so you got a pocket right here on this side where you can slip in some items in here i just use some you know some little cord keepers and i put my cords in there my my keys and you got so you have one zipper pocket on this side and then you in the other side you have like a mesh pocket where i stuck in my leatherman juice i love that little thing i don't think they're making that anymore to be totally honest and then you also have a little zipper pocket behind there where i stuck in my work iphone i don't even know what version that is but this is a, a great little organizer, a little less compartmentalized than I'm norm, you know, I'm used to, but I'm liking this. And you have the option. It has Molly or Powell's webbing on the back of it. So you, you have the option to like attach this in to the bag. But I like to keep it loose because I like to actually pull it out, get what I need and then put it back in the bag. But definitely a good thing. It's got a handle on the top of it. Great handle. It's a great handle on this. It's a great handle on the bag. This is probably like in my top five, to be totally honest, on the bag side. So in here, you can kind of see, let's, let's, let's show you. So up here, you got three rows of Molly right here. So you can attach that fill pocket right here at the top. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty nice if you want to do that. And it, it fits this area really well. But having it loose has some advantages for me. So I just keep it loose. And then up here, I put in, this is the Leduc. This is a, um, this is a little neck knife. It fits perfectly in the Molly right here. So it's a great little neck knife. Great, little, it's got really good jimping on the back. It fits my hand, even for a larger hand. It's got a unique kind of design to it, check it out. But I think that the way that the clip works for the, the actual knife, it fits in the Molly really well. And it's got a nice little snap so when it keeps it in there so you have i have a fixed blade and i also have you know a folding blade which you guys will see later but got your standard little pocket right here where you can slip and this is for you know those folks that do ruck you can stick your ruck plates in there but george don't ruck so i just stick a file folder in there so if i go to a meeting or something there it is right there i can stick my papers 
that's kind of sad, right? <laughs> I can stick my papers in there. But let's flip around. So this is just a lot of space on this side. Only thing that would probably make this interior a little bit better because the stitching, the quality of the stitching is excellent is if it had some high-vis lining. Hmm, can I convince GoRuck to do high-vis lining? I don't know if I want to because the bag itself is it's, it's close to damn perfect. It's, it's very close. I'm going to point out the one thing on this pack that I kind of don't like. So on the lid of the pocket right here, you got great organization. Simple, but great organization right here. So you got a little pocket right here. This can access as your act as your quick access pocket. The way this pack is kind of put together, if you unzip the top, you can get access to this little pocket right here on the top really quickly. It's marked by a different color. It's like a brown pool right here. So in here, I just stuck my mouse for my computer, but it's big enough for you to, you know, keep a lot of things in there. And then since this is a special edition, I don't know how I feel about special editions, you know, because, I want everybody to be able to enjoy a pack like this. So make it available all the time to everyone. You know, it's kind of, it kind of makes me mad. It's like, damn, I want to recommend this pack. I want to talk about it, but I know right now you can't even pick it up. So that kind of is like, ugh. you know, nice little leather branding in the inside. It says Go Ruck. Now with the Huckberry edition, they're all made in the USA. So that's pretty slick. And a lot of times um, people ask me, did you get the USA version or did you get the Vietnam version? Because Go Ruck does both. They, they do some of the packs in the USA and then do some of the packs in, in Vietnam. So this is definitely the one that they made in the USA. So in this, this is a larger mesh pocket down here. So lots and lots of space to put whatever you want. I put a bandana in here. It's kind of hot. Let me use that. And then also I put my Adventure Medical Kit so one to two people for that right there. If you ever want to check out any of my stuff, check the links in the description, guys. Moving on. So let's talk about the fact that this pack can also do one bag travel. While we're here, we might as well talk about it. We're in this main section. So I got my Bluffworks packing cubes right here. These are pretty slick. I like them because they have a compression strap on the outside of them. So that's pretty nice. So, you know, a lot of times with the the packing cubes, you put stuff in them, maybe you don't put enough, so the packing cube looks crazy. This one actually has a compression strap, so you can make, kinda like cinch that down, you know, cinch that down and tighten up your load. So these fit in here. This is the large and this is the, I think this is the medium or the small. So these fit in here with no problem. Uh, so I think that that's enough clothes for me for a week, definitely. So I'll close that up zip it up i could even probably put in let me shoot let me actually put in some stuff that i might carry Two. let me put my fuel pocket back in there and i'll put my my headphones back in there uh, i don't think the i don't i'll put this camelback shoot back in there too i don't think the the green room camera cube is going to fit so we're going to leave that out i don't know though Let's, let's just try it for, for giggles. It closed. So that is a loadout for real for a week. So I have my camera in there. I got my clothes in there. So I'm good to go. Now let's talk about the rest of this pack and why it's so damn excellent. <laughs> you know? So on the sides, like I said before, there's nothing on the sides. But let's talk about the bottom of the pack. Now... Go Ruck right here, they build in a false bottom in the GR1. This version and also the regular GR1. So there's some foam, some, some extra padding right here. So definitely if you lay your laptop down or you have expensive equipment in this pack, you're not gonna damage it. That's really important. So let's flip around and talk about this back panel. Now, this back panel is it's like a love-hate relationship. Once you wear it in, you gonna love it. You know, at first it can it can seem kind of rough on your shoulders, but I have grown to love this back panel, the way it's constructed, it's top notch. So we'll start talking about, about the way that the shoulder straps are constructed. So the shoulder straps right here, you can see the stitching. The attention to detail is off the meter right here. It's off, it's off the charts. 
you got several bar tack stitches, a box stitch. These shoulder straps aren't going anywhere. Now this is one of the differences between the slick edition and the regular GR1 is the shoulder straps don't have the little, you know, daisy chain feature down the, down the middle. So this one right here just has, you know, just a regular, it reminds me of like a, a Jan Sport design, but way more comfortable after you break it in. A lot more padding than any Jan Sports ever had, you know? So that's one of the differences. We already talked about the fact that there's no Molly in the front or on the side of this pack. That's the difference between the GR, the regular GR1 and this GR1. And there's no morale patch field right in the middle of the pack, which I don't really miss. And then on the back panel, on this back right here is really not a lot of air venting. And that's something that you're gonna to have to deal with. So if you would love the GR1, you're gonna to have to deal with the sweaty back. That's just what it basically is. This is really no air venting, plenty of cushion, but no real air venting. And then behind it, there is their bomb proof laptop compartment, which has another one of those silent zipper pulls, very silent. Sounds great. So in here you can fit up to a 17 inch laptop. I have my 15 inch Dell XPS. Matter of fact, I have a 17 inch laptop now. Let me pull that out. Boom, 17 inch laptop. Dell, this is an old Dell Inspiron. Let's see if this will fit in here. Yep. Tight fit with all the clothes in there. Remember I got all my stuff in there but that fits in there as well. So I specifically went out and got a 17 inch laptop to test these packs out with. I forgot about that. So definitely like that. And then down here at the bottom, there's some extra supports. You'll see these little bands right here. These are some extra supports for the pack. So that's pretty slick. Well, really well constructed. Now let's flip around to the front of this pack and talk about pocket in the front of the pack is where, <laughs> is where the pack kind of disappoints me a little bit. I'm like, this needs to be redesigned. It's a great pack, awesome pack. I can't say anything bad really about the GR1, but this front pocket, when you unzip, it's the slash pocket in the front, right? Still YKK zips, silent zipper pulls, but now that I got this thing packed out with all my clothes, I got the Bluffworks packing cubes in there and all of that, Good luck trying to get your hand in here to get something. So I actually do have something in here, but my hand is like sticking into a Venus flytrap. So this is the yellow birch uh, pocket organizer right here. So this is where I kind of keep my EDC items. So I got a G2 Pilot pen right there. I got the Benchmade bug out in all black. Love this knife, super slick all black everything, love it, um, don't wanna cut myself. And then finally on the end, this is the Lumatop EDC tool, triple A batteries. I did a review on this as well. This is a great little organizer, kind of expensive, but still awesome. Then this is also USA made, and it's got a pocket on the front where I can stick in like my hand cream and some lip balm. But this is a little, you know, double-sided organizer. And I have some other stuff in there, but I'm not going to put my hand through the torture test of trying to get it out right now. This pocket is super deep. It goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. So you can, like, you know, I'm all the way up to my wrist right here. But this, I would love to see this redesigned. I don't know how you redesign it to still make it cool, though. Because the slash pocket look in the front is cool as hell. So I can see why they're like apprehensive. Like, what are we gonna do about the front front pocket? I don't know. I don't know what we should do because it still looks so damn cool. On the top, let's talk about the grab handle. This is probably where I interact with this pack the most is this grab handle, picking it up out of my truck, picking it up, you know, on the train or whatever. This grab handle is so well designed. It's stitched in, box stitches on the end, bar tack stitching, it's folded over and considered. It's soft, but rugged. I mean, the way that they did this is off the charts. I, I definitely like this. I wanted to show you this pack and show you the, the other options. You can always pick up the GR1, the regular version. I think that's an awesome pack that's been in my top five for a long time. This one has taken its place though, because of the fact that it strips away 
all of that tactical feel that I personally can live with in some packs and then some packs I don't want it. You know, I just want a regular backpack and this gives me that. It gives me just a plain regular backpack. The price, let's talk about the price. The price is $2.95. George, should you buy it? Hell yes. <laughs> if, you, if you can afford it, definitely pick this pack up. If, if Huckberry puts it back up on the website, sign up for the notifications and pick this pack up. It will last you forever. I hesitate to say it'll last you forever. It will last you a long time. And it's a great pack, very comfortable. Give it like two months of wearing the pack in and then the shoulder straps become a friend. Somebody that you've, <laughs> that you've met and you never want to leave their side. Basically, this pack is excellent. I love it. Um, this is, you know, this is going to be in my stable of packs. I try to limit myself. People always ask me, you must have a thousand packs. I really, really don't because I keep the ones that I really, really like. And then the other ones, they find their way to friends. They find their way to other people's hands. I just can't keep all of the backpacks that I review. But this one stays with me. It's like a unicorn in the game. Definitely like it. And yeah, man. Guys, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It helps the video go out to more people. So everybody gets to see what's going on in the EDC world. What's up? So hit the thumbs up button. If you love the content, subscribe to the channel. Always got room. I make room for new subscribers. Come on in. And if you got a question, leave it down in the comments. If you want, you can hit me up on my email. I leave that in the description box too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, hey, George, I, I just checked the review, man, and I, I, I really just don't understand. I thought this was an excellent EDC pack. So, I mean, I just don't understand why you, you said what you said on the review. I mean, I just don't think that you know too much about backpacks at all. You know, we don't respect what you say on your little YouTube channel. You're a little YouTuber. You know, you think you're all of that. But no, I mean, I create. You get it? I create. I make things. You, all you do is talk in front of the camera. Anybody can do that.